Hi everyone, I come bearing very exciting news. I am officially adding two new plant-based dye colors to the Charlie Darwin ecosystem. So these are colors that you can get on my plant-based fabric sold by the yard and they'll also be available to order my clothing in any of these colors. What's new, you ask? So the first new dye color is this light indigo and it sort of looks a little bit like a white washed denim fabric. And then the second newbie is my chestnut, which is a sort of dark charcoal gray. I absolutely love it. I think it's gonna pair with so much in my wardrobe. But in case you're unfamiliar, I'll go ahead and acquaint you to the other beautiful earth tones that we've got. For the longest time, I've had a light brown that's dyed with tea, a light to medium gray color that's also dyed with tea and iron, a medium to dark indigo color that really pops. And we got my Kutch fabric, which is sort of a light pink I'd say it's sort of a dusty rose to a light salmon color. And of course, all of my clothing can also be purchased in just regular undyed white linen flax. I'd say I spent a almost embarrassing amount of time working on these fabric swatches for you all who pre-requested them before the launch of the new color. You can still put in your request for a free fabric swatch by emailing me and letting me know that you'd like some fabric swatches and just be sure to include your mailing address as well. My journey with plant dyes started back when I was in college, so about almost 10 years ago at this point, and I fell in love instantly. I had no idea that you could dye with plants at the time that I first was taught about it. I think my very first experiments were with marigolds. And then fast forward about, I don't know, seven years later, as I was working on how I wanted Charlie Darwin to look, I, you know, I originally started with just commercially dyed linen fabric, and the plant dyeing actually came out of a desire to keep lower stock. So as a small business, not knowing how many of each color would be ordered every month, I didn't want to stock up on huge amounts of a certain color of fabric, not knowing if it would sell well. And so I saw plant dyeing, or dyeing, hand dyeing in general, as a way to sort of circumvent this at the early stages of my business. And what this looked like was just that every time I'd get an order, I would sew it up in my undyed linen, and I would just buy a bunch of undyed natural white linen, and then sew up the order, and then dye it whatever color my customer had ordered it in. And while this business model was sort of born out of the stage that I was in when I first started, once I started doing everything with plant dyes, I absolutely, <laughs> I can't go back. They're so beautiful, the rich earth tones that I can get with the plant dyes that I use are absolutely irreplaceable by commercial dyes. And it has taken a little bit of tweaking over the years. So some of my very early designs, I tried using all sorts of plants, things that I foraged, things that I got from local restaurants and even just random grocery store items. So for instance, I tried foraging for lichens that had already fallen onto the forest floor. I foraged for bark. I tried onion skins from a local restaurant who was discarding them at the end of every day. And I tried black beans. And all these different experiments um, were really fun to run. But what I found out along this process was that some of these plant-based dyes are more suited towards clothing that you want to last for a really long time. And so certain dyes, like the black beans, faded really quickly. Even if I mordanted and prepared the fabric really well, they faded into more of like, a, from like a periwinkle blue into more of a gray color that was still really beautiful, but it didn't keep that vibrancy. And so today, after lots of experimenting and continuous experiments, I'm sure I'll keep finding new exciting dyes to try out. I'm really excited about the current color palette for Charlie Darwin. Each of the dyes I use has a certain component to it that helps it really grip onto the fabric and provide that long lasting color that we're all looking for, something that's vibrant and going to last even through many washes. So 
something you might be wondering about is, is it harder to care for naturally dyed garments? And I think it's all relative. There are some people who want to put a lot of effort into caring for their clothes and people who want to put in a little bit less. I admittedly, even as a clothing designer, I love putting in minimal effort to my washing and drying routine. So I'll tell you the minimal effort route. So for all of my linen clothes, plant dyed and undyed, what I really recommend is to just throw it in your washer with light colors, use a very neutral detergent. So there's a lot of like clean and clear detergents out there these days. Wash it with cold water on some sort of delicate cycle and then transfer it to your dryer and dry it until it's about 90% of the way dry. And this just sort of helps preserve the fabric a little bit to not overdo it might let it hang dry the rest of the way or even just iron it dry and it's as simple as that you don't even need to iron it I love wearing my clothes super wrinkly if you can't tell I think it really brings out that additional texture that we all love about linen but of course if you're going for a crisp preppy look you can always iron it with lots of steam on the highest heat setting on your iron so I think you'll find that the washing instructions really aren't that scary and if you want to see them in writing I have a blog post about them that I'll link below and I include these instructions on the tag on every garment as well What I think you'll absolutely love about my fabric and clothing is that it really helps you stand out. Not a lot of clothing out there is plant dyed and has this rich of a color um, while also blending into the earth. So it's not super bright in your face. When you go on a hike, you feel like you really blend in to the environment and the nature and the beauty around you, which I find so important and easy on the eyes. And even when you're not in those really earthy environments like I love to be in, if you're in a more urban environment, it gives you that sanctuary, that space to feel like you're bringing an earthy texture and color and feeling with you everywhere that you go, um, which here in my Philadelphia studio is super important to me to be able to carry around this earthy look and feel with my identity and my personality to help me feel a little bit more calm and peaceful in my everyday and in my environment. I'm sort of creating this micro ecosystem right here on my body with all the different plants that I'm combining into my garment and wearing around with me on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have any questions at all about my plant dyed linen, special projects or custom orders, or just want to request a sample pack of my fabrics, please do feel free to reach out to me via email and I'd be so excited to talk to you more about what you have in mind.